came to Andy. I clearly remember this. If you're wondering what happened is, uh, she started screaming like a freaking, like, I can't describe it. It's literally like screeching like a baby in pain or something. Um, and when I was listening to that awful screeching, I actually put my head on on the desk because it was literally so loud they said they can uh hear us from the next room i remember but something like that and she after she was done screeching and screaming sam was literally calm looking over angie hugging but angie was literally screeching in sam's ear because they were hugging while screeching literally Sam was like, you know, sing E, like all that simple stuff, but Andy took it to the extreme, like, as I said. So, what happened is she actually started tearing up in happiness. Like, that was probably the first time I saw someone actually tearing up in happiness of getting picked in something, something super important. I don't know why, but if I was Angie, I would have... Um, not started tear crying or happy crying. I would have just sat there and sang whoop whoop. That happy style. But, you know, you get the point. And she took it to the extreme. They literally, uh, uh, like, I don't know how to really describe it, but, you know, after class, she she actually started crying again, like bragging it to the people of her other friends in other classes. But they said, but they said someone was screeching next door, and I don't know who. So they were like, hmm, "Who was it?" And then Angie, I saw her face actually. I was actually right beside them, so I heard everything. Um, and she's like, "Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing." Probably the other class. Someone actually got picked there, I think. And they're like, okay. But they're like, girls. And she was like, girls, I got picked student council. Like, I can't describe her voice because it's too girly. Um, But she was like that. And I was like, oh, please. Why can't you just tell them, like, I got picked for student council. Are you proud of me? Not like, girls, I got picked student council. E. She was literally like that. Probably the most girliest girl I had ever heard or ever seen or or ever met. I'm not going to lie. And everything became interesting. Like, after eating in the lunch tables. So... She actually, the next day, she actually started bragging that, that, um, her meeting, that her meeting, like, um, leaders actually give them donuts if they come to the meeting. And they're like, you can bring any, you can bring some to your class or for all your, like, classmates. And she's, and she said that to me at the line. And she's like, they said they could bring donuts. And they're like, and she's like, but I didn't bring some. I only wanted one for myself. And I'm like, well, that greedy bitch should start sharing or anything. F her. But the reality when she says, ugh, I wish I was like, wake up a little later. Even though she wanted donuts. Uh, she said she earned donuts for the rest of the day. And she's like, yay finally got my donuts and uh she said she's pretty tired for the most of the time because um she had to go to the meeting i don't know how long because i've never been student council as you can tell by my gacha life um skills so that got pretty weird um and i was like why didn't she bring some donuts for the whole class i mean well they did come up with something even worse okay it's not like as worse as her bragging that she got donuts and getting tired like after the meetings but it's not as bad as you thought it's actually breakfast at school breakfast at school 
like it's for the people who don't um didn't eat breakfast like in the morning and they're like starving and the teacher said like my teacher said oh um we're like mm, you know why we like eat snacks before class and then all of us said why and she's like oh it's because for the people who didn't eat that's why i ask you guys to bring a snack or something something for breakfast like cereal in a baggie with no milk no milk or else it's gonna mold in there and then i was like okay okay and when we got the breakfast i actually they said everyone tried and then we we're like okay okay did it and uh it wasn't, the breakfast wasn't, like, great, great, but it was, like, great enough to think it's great. So, when we went on our day, on our days with our day, that was in the morning, so we didn't, like, do anything real special, but we didn't really do anything that day because it was Friday it started in Friday, so nothing much happened. So when we got our breakfast, we tried it. It would be like, mm, I really like the sausage pizza. Oh yeah, I want you to think about it. When does sausage pizza exist in the world? Okay, probably here, but probably nowhere else if you would think about it. But I'm not gonna blame her. Not gonna blame. Because this video is not about blaming people. This video today is called My Bully Story. So, pay attention. And, sorry if I was a little bit on that. And I was like, okay, okay. I really got it, I really got it. And it, and when I started eating the breakfast at school, I started not eating breakfast at home because it just tasted so good. It can't stop. So I started getting breakfast there and I started to get bored because of it. And at lunch, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I, ha I already had breakfast pretty early. I should not get lunch. But we can't not skip lunch. So we have to eat more. And I'm like, oh, frick, I am fools. So I was panicking, like, how can I fit this in my body? Do I need to poop it out when I get home or throw it up? Like, pretending I'm sick? No, it's just something, I don't know, how <laughs> did I get breakfast? So, I was there, I sat at Andy's table, but my friend came along with me, Alana. I love you, Alana, as a friend. And, like, mm, I sat next to Andy, because three people per row, and I was sitting with Andy, and and Alana was sitting with me, and I'm like, okay, this is how I'll work. And I'm like, okay, let's get eating, because I'm hungry, like that. And I started eating. Isabella came, which is Angie's friend, um, the girly ones, and she was like, oh, hey. And then she actually moved and saying, bye, I don't want to sit next to you. And it hurt my feelings. And when she said that it actually really hurt my feelings it got cut up so i had to repeat it um and what happened was after that we actually had pe so it was like a workout like actually like getting fat and getting like getting skinnier like that it's like trying to put you in the right position uh for the rest of your life and i was like okay okay so when pe came and he started crushing on Alex because he's a fast runner. He plays soccer, and she, and he's interested to tall girls. And Angie was one of them. But what Angie didn't know was he's not into braggers, like braggers, bullies, or people who don't respect at all. Now, if you heard in the beginning, Angie used, used to be my friend we used to be friends before this incident so after that after pe we actually went to recess like like after pe because you want to now get more exercise and i was like okay i gotta tell angie that 
I don't want to be friends with her anymore. I was, like, feeling really confident until, until I told her. And I said, Angie? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, we're not friends anymore. And she's like, I know. I've been crushing on Alex, and I've been bragging. Okay, that's the part I didn't explain. I'll tell you later. Um, Actually, I'll tell you now. She said, so the past few months now, like for three months, he... He, she's been crushing on Alex, actually, and I'm like, okay, when will this stop? I am actually really getting annoyed because she's like, oh, my gosh, Alex likes me back. Oh, my gosh, look what Alex d drew for me. Oh, my gosh, look what Alex made for me. And I was like, stop. Why can't you just stop? And I actually stopped her. And she's like, okay, fine, I'll stop bragging to you, idiot. Okay, I forgot what she said. But it was like, okay, fine, fine, I'll stop, jeez. I know that. I just wanted to make it more interesting. So, when I'm like, okay, fine. She was like, she walked away. And then, I, and then, right, and then, again, I'll say it again. I defriended her. And I was like, okay, I feel free from that uncaring student council girl. And I was like, finally. And I told Alana about it. And then she was like, did you um, defriend her? I'm like, of course. So we were like, yay. Finally, we're free as a bird. And yeah, that's what mostly like happened. So we were like, okay, yes, yes, yes. Go, girl. Yeah. And later on in the story, you'll get to the bullying part. And this is about to be the start of the bullying part. The first few parts were just the little introduction of what happened before bullying. So, yeah. And when I uh, defriended her, she was like, what? And I told her, wait, why? And I'm like, and I'm like, okay, name me one reason why. And she said, I've been crushing on Alex. And I'm like, bruh, that's not one of the points. And I said, and she's like, Okay, what is the reason? Just tell me. I'm student counsel. You gotta tell me everything. And I'm like, no, I am the boss of me, and I'm, and you're the boss of only the people who are lower than you. I am tougher. I am smarter, and I am thicker. Okay, that might be sound a little weird, but I did not actually say I'm actually thicker. Um, okay, and what happened was, let's say that mm, she went. A little bit sad emotional like but she did was like no she's like then tell me the reasons i told her no i'm not gonna tell you the reasons and i told her then what is the reason or else i'm going to tell tell on you or report you and i said you will see along the way and what i mean by you'll see along the way is You'll you'll see the reasons why I de defriended you by doing some actions you remembered in the past. So she actually did that, and I'm like, okay, now name me a few reasons why. And she's like, fine. She listed all of them, and I'm like, good. And then she started bullying. I was also friends with Isabella because if you won't be friend if you've been friends with somebody and she and they already have another friend well you got to be friends with this with your friend's friend so yeah and i did but i also told her we're not friends anymore since she doesn't care about me like she thinks i'm dumb stupid and why because she took out all her lunch and said to me Look, I got apples. Apples. Look, I got Lunchables. Lunchables. She repeated it over and over again so I can hear her. But what does she not know is that I know that. And I'm not, I'm not dumb. I have a tutor. I know it. Um, so, so that's what I told her. And I was like, okay, we're not friends anymore. Do you think I'm dumb? So... I think you're dumb of thinking I am one of um, the, like, the unsmart kids. Like, the person who thinks the earth is freaking flat. Like, okay, I might, 
believe that a little bit, but still, I, I won't believe that a little bit, but yeah, so she was like, okay, fine, you got away this time, but it won't be easy next time, and I'm like, good, so get out of my sight, she's like, fine, okay, okay, and guess what, she actually just left me there saying, Frick you, you're such a bad friend. And I'm like, no, you. And I'm like, and she's like, what? what? And she doesn't really understand it the first time because, and then I told her the next day and she's like, oh, okay. You're also such a bad friend too. Um, so that's what happened actually. So we continue it on with our days. So we, we, like, this happened, like, over and over again until it got out of control. Andre started to feel mad about me. But thank you so much for listening to my bully story. There will be a part two. And I'll see you in the next video. And uh, please like and share. And please subscribe. That will be okay. But we're going to go... You're going to hear the second part of my bully story probably like tomorrow or the next next day. I don't know how much time will take. But thanks so much. I can't thank you guys anymore. I can't thank you guys enough. So, mm, I won't be having an outro.